system. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Wow, I haven't done this in like a long, long time, but how's it going, you beauties? It's producer guy Phil, and today we are back with some more NHL 18 content. Forget the normal intro, forget everything you have learned in the hockey world as you know it, because today we are going to see if the newest acquisition, the newest free agent signing, John Effing Tavares, can help lead the Toronto Maple Leafs to the Stanley Cup. I don't even care what happens in these comments. I'm going to get lit up, but that doesn't even freaking matter. No, it does not. Holy poop. Oh, my goodness gracious. Did a team just have a 94 rating? Oh, Tampa. Well, that just makes a whole lot of sense, actually. I totally agree with that. That threw me off. I thought I left a created team in here. Doesn't freaking matter. Does not matter. Holy crap. To say I'm excited is just, it's an understatement, honestly. Like, it is just, honestly, a complete understatement i can't even believe this is real right now like um i i, I was saying all week Tavares is gonna sign with the sharks he's gonna resign with the islanders like i just have such a huge history of being just such a pessimistic fan like nothing ever goes our way you know like we're gonna get screwed somehow but like no today is the day kyle dubas i just I, can i hug you like repeatedly repeatedly can i buy you dinner can i do something like you are just an absolute wizard you're a wizard, Harry. Edit lines. I think Thomas Pacans is going to still be on this team. Well, Tyler Bozak's gone, so we haven't done that. Screw it. Who cares about effing realism right now when you have just, oh my god, like, who cares? Uh, JVR's on the team, Bozak's on the team. I don't care right now. I don't care because who knows what's going to happen, but look at that. John Tavares, Nylander, Marner, Mar Austin Matthews is a second line center. Okay, pal. There you go. That is the uh, offense, the defense. Oh my goodness. Hainsey, Travis Dermott, Connor Carrick. Who is scratched right now? Like, who is scratched on this team? I should have. Oh, Kapnan. Uh, well, you know what? Oh my goodness. Whatever. We best lines it. We don't even care. We're going to keep going. Oh my freaking. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. So let's talk about it. I know there's a lot of. Um, See, I, I, I know there's a lot of people who don't like this signing. If you're an Islanders fan, obviously it's understandable. And look at that, 2-3-2. Two, two. I don't even care what happens in the video game. I just want to use this to talk about the team. There's a lot of people who don't like this signing. It's completely understandable. You know what? Like, anytime, like, your team doesn't land a free agent. Like, I remember for some reason I was really upset when the Leafs didn't get Andrew McDonald, like, five, six years ago. And he turned out to be a complete, like, bum. I'm sorry, Flyers fans. That is just really bad. But... The big thing, too, is 11 mil over, like, seven years. So every year for the next seven years, he gets 11 mil. Holy poop. That is, you know what? That's a big commitment, but that's a decent dish contract. You know what? I will take that. Apparently, he left, like, an extra two mil on the table for other teams. Like, what? Like, wh what? Oh, my. Like, wow. Dude, that is amazing. And the big thing, too, is people... Uh, how are they going to give everyone under the cap? Uh, they can't afford everybody. But I, I tweeted this the other day, but people don't realize that the cap is going up. The cap is going up due to, like, the success of Vegas. Um, the cap will increase depending on the revenue of the total NHL. And, hey, hey, hey there's going to be a lot of Tavares jerseys going to be sold in Toronto right about now. But don't forget, too, if Seattle comes into the league, that's another cap bump of potentially four to five to six million in pure revenue that the cap's going to get up. So the cap went up by 4.5 4 mil this year. If it goes up by 4.5 next year, if they invoke the escalator clause, which don't forget is an option in the CBA to increase the cap, I believe, by 5%, uh, give or take. Yes, they could increase the cap by 5%. That could bump it up to a solid 10 mil. 10 mil that was not there this year will be there in two potential years. Matthews, Nylander, and Martin, well, first of all, Nylander's up this year, but Marner and Matthews are up next year. I don't want to be that guy that's like, oh, we can afford to keep more, huh? but like, it's a very real possibility. The way the cap is, there's actually money coming off the books, and I know I'm going to get salty comments like, they're can, they're not going to do it, huh? you can't afford it. But just, just look at the CBA, look at cap trends. You know, the people who don't look at cap trends are the ones who are salty keyboard warriors, but the ones who, you know, decent hockey fans are looking at cap trends going, you know what, they might be able to do this. Wow, man, I'm excited. What is this team doing right now? I haven't even looked. 28, 16, and 7. First in the Atlantic. They, we had a rough start, but that is freaking incredible. What's up? 
Who's leading your team? It's got oh, look at him right there, Johnny T leading the team and scoring. I love it. 49 points. A hey, TSN, I'm trying to trade you. William Nylander is 39. Kadri 35. JVR 35. Matthews 35. Komarov. Oh my goodness. What a team. Who has the least? I'm going to say it's, uh, oh, I thought it would have been German, but it's freaking, wow, German, you got an upgrade to 78. Good job, buddy. I'm actually proud of you. You did it, man. Uh, how's goaltending right now? How's C-Mac doing? I should have brought up Garrett Sparks just because, but whatever. 915 for uh, Freddy with a 251. C-Mac with 908 and a 278. Wow. Oh, my goodness. But you know what? I am just, I'm just super happy right now, man. This is, like, the one time, like, recently that I've seen, like, this team just finally get something, like, get something good like Matthews was great and Martner was like fantastic getting drafting Nealon but this is drafts like this is like the first big like huge free agent signing who actually could potentially pan out nobody bring up David Clarkson to me I swear to God but this is like the first time in a while that like a big okay first of all forget like it's least but like this is the first time a big superstar is what made it to free agency you can't really say Kevin Shattenkirk was like a huge crazy star can you but like this was like the first time in a while that like a big actual free agent made it. There was all the hype around Stamkos last year just to re-sign in Tampa. But like this was intense, man. Holy poop. This was just something. This was just completely something else. I can't, I can't even like begin to explain just how big like important like wise this is. So this is like this might set a precedent now. Think of Eric Carlson. Maybe he opts to wait to free agency to get a payday as well, man. Or do the Sens try move them? This could be like a this could be like a learning thing. Like, hey, you know, if you have a big guy in an expiring contract, try to move them. Like, you know, the big thing is that like typically star players like to resign, but dude, like after Tavares just bouncing like this, man, it might be in a team's best interest to kind of you know maybe trade them, like things like that. Like, th we're in uncharted territory when it comes to just anything right now. We are just in huge uncharted territory, and it's kind of exciting. To think about, in all honesty, like it's really kind of exciting. 41, 27, and 14. It's definitely good for a playoff spot. Wow, we dropped Montreal. <laughs> okay, pal. Um, but look at the race in the Atlantic 95, 96, 96, 99. So it looks like we're going to be playing uh, Florida in the first round, which is completely fine. I like Florida. By the way, Barkov has six. Whatever. Back to the Leafs. Holy crap. Tavares, 75 points. You can tell this is a video game because that'll probably be a lot higher if he's playing with goddamn Mitch Marner. Uh, Nylander, 60. Matthews, 57. Um, Kadri 52, JVR 51, I, I get it, half these players are on the team, who cares? We're only getting this up to use this platform to talk about John T, John Tavares, the newest player of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Freddie basically stayed with a 915 and a 254, C-Mac with a 905 and a 274. I'm probably talking like an auctioneer right now, like a mile a goddamn minute, but uh, actually, where do we stack up in the league? I just want to check that really quick. I know we're third in the division, but where do we stack in the entire league? I'm going to say top 10. We have to be top 10, don't we? I'm going to say 8th. Uh, oh, look at that. Called it. Eighth. Nailed it. Uh, who was first? Columbus was in first. Yeah, wow. I'm impressed. Hey, hey, where's Panarin going? You know what? That's a video for another time. Let's advance today. Let's go to the playoffs. Take on the Florida Panthers. We're probably going to get knocked out in the first round because hashtag just Toronto things. But you know what? I'm excited. This is honestly, like, so intense. You can tell I haven't done this in a while because I am going to all the wrong menus. That's a little bit of excitement with a little bit of hype with a little bit of, oh, my God. But here we go. Florida Panthers in the playoffs. Yeah, 4-2 win, 5-2 loss. Okay, that's about what I expected. Uh, let's just sim the next two games. And, yep, see, that's exactly what I thought. Because I know this video game and out in five, right? No, okay. Anyway, um, this is just honestly so freaking cool just to see in general. Um, so, can Tavares in the video game lead the least to the Stanley Cup? Nope, but hey, in real life, who freaking knows, man? Who knows indeed? This is just awesome. Like, I, I don't think I've been this happy in a long... I don't think I've been this happy since we drafted Matthews. Like, in all honesty. And, and even then, I don't think I was this happy. Like, because when you draft someone who's, like, a first overall, it's still kind of an unknown. You don't know who it's going to be. Like, I mean, the odds in your favor, it's going to be a really good player, you know? Like, the odds are, oh, and the President's Trophy wins a cup. Good job, Columbus. You did it, buddy. Um, But, like, with, with a draft pick, it's kind of you're in an unknown territory. Like, there's hype. They could be good. They could be good. Or they could be Alexander Dagan. Nail Yakubov, you know? Like, there's, there's just that, like, that fear that, you know, it could happen. It could... Maybe, you know, be a little bit of a bust, but with someone like JT, you know you're not getting a bust. You're getting a proven elite player, and it was a Columbus uh, St. Louis final. Wow, talk about ratings for the NHL. Good job. Kane with the Art Ross and Lane with the Hart. James Norris to Falk. Uh, Kane and Barzell with the Calder. Wow, imitating actual video game. Con Smite to Bobrovsky. Vezina to Bobrovsky. Jennings to Bobrovsky. Gave every trophy to the Bro blah, Bobrovsky. Zadorov with the uh, Masterton suck. Jordan Stolly wins in every simulation. Lanny with the Ted Lindsay. And Malkin with the Reese Richard. Oh, wow. 
Oh, him and hey, look at that, John freaking Tavares. <laughs> he wins a trophy. He did it. But I'm very excited. Let me know how you feel about the John Tavares signing. You can hate it all you want. You can love it all you want if you're a Leaf fan. But you know what? You can't deny that it's pretty darn exciting that a free agent of his caliber actually made it to free agency and signed with the team. The boyhood dream has come true for John Tavares. He is a Toronto Maple Leaf. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to crush that like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I'm producer Phil. I will see you in the next one. Stay classy.